Okay, you don't want to hear it, but they are back. Japanese beetles, and you can tell these little buggers apart from other beetles by their metallic green bodies and iridescent copper wings. But the sure sign they've arrived in your garden is the destruction they leave behind. Japanese beetles eat the areas of leaves between the veins, leaving behind a skeleton or a lacy appearance. They are known to love more than 300 varieties of plants and trees, like hollyhocks and roses and grapes. Too many, of course, to name them all here, but we do have that full list online. But we also know several varieties that are resistant to Japanese beetles, like red maple, dogwood, and juniper. That full list is online, too. So what can you do about them? You can spray with an insecticidal spray, but many will also harm the good bugs that come to your plants, including bees. Well, we have some options, and you guessed it, they're online. The best thing to do is a bit labor intensive, but you want to pick them off by hand and put them in a bucket of soapy water. They'll die, then just discard them. Avoid squishing them or the use of the popular bags to trap them. In both cases, the beetles will use pheromones that attract even more of their kind to your yard. Preventing them in the first place is also tricky. You can apply grub control to your yard, but it's really only practical if the grubs are creating damage to your lawn, since beetles can simply fly in from elsewhere for lunch at your house. Okay, but the key is maintenance. You gotta get out there and look and see what's going on in your garden. Right, we're never gonna get rid of them. Nope. We have to learn to manage them. Or kill them, one or the other. Both. Better stay away from my green beans and tomatoes. Well, we have all of today's tips on our website. If you're not a member yet, text GROW to 763-797-7215 and you'll get a link to join the Grow With Care page. You can also text your GROW questions directly to that number.